Hello to all of you. Today I have converted an electric washing machine motor into a power generator. These types of electric motors are abundant in the market. I have prepared this generator with permanent magnets. I would like to try it on a steam turbine, albeit at high speed. I will open it so you can see how it is made. I put bearings on both sides. In order to increase the strength of magnetism, I have placed two N poles and two S poles next to each other. First, I have glued the magnets to the rotor and then put a piece of soda plastic on them and heated it. There are 12 coils in the stator, which I have separated all of them. These coils are divided into three groups and each group contains four coils and they are located two by two in front of each other. If you look, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve coils. And here I have used eight coils of this electric motor. I have connected four coils from one group separately and I have connected four numbers from the second group separately, and therefore we have four output wires. The important point is that the coils next to each other must have opposite rotation directions. Pay attention to the figure. This means that the opposite coils are in the same direction. I use a hanging magnet to make sure we got the windings right. I have placed an iron screw on a magnet pole. You can see that when the iron is placed in a hanging form, it is placed towards the north pole. These two wires belong to the quadruple loop of the coil and this is another four coils. Now if I apply 12 volt DC to a loop the coils will be magnetized. You can see the direction of the magnet on the coils.
These four were related to these two wires. There is no special work. Of course, these coils are almost thin and will cause a current drop at the output of the generator. Of course, with this amount of coil, whether it is thick or thin, there will be no difference in the output power. Another important point is that the distance between the opening of the coil should be equal to the distance between pole S and pole N. Pay attention to the figure. Keeping the distance between the magnets is extremely important. Now I want to see if this AC generator works with 220V electricity or not. For this purpose, I use a 450V capacitor of 1 microfarad, of course, in series with the circuit. The use of the capacitor is because the AC resistance of the coils has changed and by connecting directly to 220V electricity, it causes them to burn. Yes, it is working with a capacitor of 1 microfarad. To measure the current with a multimeter, the current must be converted to DC with this diode bridge. Zero point two seven amp. Now let's test it with the turbine.
maximum 0.42 amps. We test with a 50 watt SMD lamp. The wire was disconnected. This was also an experience we did. And we realized that this generator is not worth it and even if it was assembled very well, I don't think it would give us energy above 300 watts. Of course, it is mostly because the volume of its coils is small. Bye until the next program.